The Dasavtar Ganjifa of Savangbadi is an Indian mythology card game that consists of 10 incarnations of Lord Vishnu. This game can be played with 3 to 6 players and each player aims to win the maximum number of cards from the opponents. Savangbadi Ganjifa consists of 10 suits Masya, Kurma, Varaha, Narsimha, Vamana, Parshurama, Rama, Krishna, Buddha, and Kalki. Each suit consists of 12 cards, where King is the strongest card and Wazir is the second strongest card, followed by the 10 numericals from 1 to 10. The numericals in Ganjifa are recognized by the counting the symbols on the cards. However, in the first 5 suit, 1 is the highest and 10 is the lowest numerical after King and Wazir. Whereas, in the last 5 suit, 10 is the highest and 1 is the lowest numerical after King and Wazir. Thus, each suit consists of 12 cards, becoming a complete deck of 120 cards. So let's play the game. If the game is played during the daytime, the Rama sword is the trump sword, and if it is played at night, the Krishna sword becomes a trump sword. This means all cards in that suit becomes a trump cards and can beat any cards of any other suit. To start the game, a player randomly mixes the cards face down on the table at least for two minutes instead of shuffling the cards in a western manner. Once all the cards are mixed, they are connected again into a single pile. Then a player deals four cards at a time in an anti-clockwise direction until all the cards are given out. It is always preferred to hide your cards from the opponents. But for this video, we will face up all the cards to understand the gameplay more properly. So let's consider this game is played during the daytime. Hence, the drum suit will be the Rama suit. The player holding the Rama King starts the game by putting the Rama King in the center. The other player must follow the lead suit by playing a lower card of Rama suit. The player who plays the highest ranking card wins the trick and thus collects the cards but cannot use them further in the game. The game proceeds with the player trying to capture as many as tricks possible by using their trumps and higher ranking cards. Every player must follow the lead suit whenever possible, but sometimes there is a void in the suit. For example, if a player needs a trick by playing a Matsya card and one of the opponent does not have a Matsya card, then he has to play a card from the suit which is recent next in the sequence of the Sautar. Or else, he can simply play a trump card to take the lead in the game. Remember, every time a player takes a lead in the game, you must check if he has a sequence of Dukkals in his cards. Dukkals means a king card along with one or more cards in an unbroken sequence down from it. If a player plays a sequence of Dukkal, all players have to match the number of cards played. And the entire large trick is won by the player who had the lead. However, trump card cannot overpower when a set of Dukkal is played, so no other card can beat them. Thus, it is an advantage to play a sequence of Dukkals as soon as possible to retain the lead in the game. Play continues until all the cards have been played and the player who wins the maximum number of cards becomes the winner. And thus the first round ends.